Good morning everyone. It is Thursday morning and for this morning's Lent reading we are going to read together from John chapter 10 starting at verse 22 and reading through to the end. So let's hear God's word together. It was now winter and Jesus was in Jerusalem at the time of Hanukkah, the festival of dedication. He was in the temple walking through the section known as Solomon's Colonnade. The people surrounded him and asked, how long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus replied, I have already told you and you don't believe me. The proof is the work I do in my father's name. But you don't believe me because you're not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me. For my father has given them to me. And he is more powerful than anyone else. No one can snatch them from my father's hand. The father and I are one. Once again, the people picked up stones to kill Jesus. To kill him, Jesus said, at my father's direction, I have done many good works. For which one are you going to stone me? They replied, we're stoning you not for any good works, but for blasphemy. You, a mere man, claim to be God. Jesus replied, it is written in your own scriptures. That God said to certain leaders of the church, I say, you are gods. And you know that the scriptures cannot be altered. So if those people who received God's message were called gods, why do you call it blasphemy when I say, I am the son of God? After all, the father set me apart and sent me into this world. Don't believe me unless I carry out my father's work. But if I do his work, believe in the evidence of the miraculous works I have done, even if you don't believe me. Then you will know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Once again they tried to arrest him, but he got away and left him. He went beyond the river Jordan in the place where John was first baptising and stayed there a while, and many followed him. John didn't perform miraculous signs, they remarked to one another. But everything he said about this man has come true. And many who were there believed in Jesus. Amen. Little thought for today. Just um, as we get towards the end of the week. As we watch the news and listen to changes that are happening in the world around us. Um, with regards to what we can and cannot do with lockdown. And we know there's more changes ahead. It's been a very difficult time and it's been a struggle. And there are so many struggles in life. Even before COVID came along, there have been many struggles. And we all struggle in our faith at times and we all struggle in following God. There's those highs and those lows. But in all of them, remember what Jesus said. I give them eternal life and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me. For my Father has given them to me and he is more powerful than anyone else. No one can snatch them from the Father's hand. If you're struggling today, know that you're in the Father's hand. If you can identify the struggles you've had in the past and you know that you will have struggles again in the future, know that you're in the Father's hand. And know that no one can snatch you away. That's amazing to think that God will never let go of us, but will always hold on to us. And yes, at times we'll try and climb out of his hand and we will rebel and we will want to turn our back and not look at him. But he doesn't let go of us. He is always with us. And whenever we cry out to him needing help, He's already there, holding us in his hand. Today, you are held in God's hand. Let's pray. Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you for the reassurance that it brings to us. That no one and nothing can snatch us from your hand. That we are always there. Lord, and whenever struggles and trials and tribulations we will face today, over the rest of the week, and indeed in the rest of our lives, Lord, thank you that we know that you will always be with us. 
because we can trust your word. Go with us now, Father, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks for listening, folks. Thanks for joining in. Trust that today you truly would know God's arms around you. Know that you're in his hand, that he is holding you. May God bless you.